Echo Island, the arrival, day four. The rain had made the most delightful noise on the roof with the afternoon thunderstorm, and I fell asleep on the sofa beside the fire. Awake now, I had to tell you what I saw, witnessed, felt in a way, as if in a dream, another reality, I really don't know, but here goes. Oh no, it's a boy, she gasped with a little breath that she had left from birthing him. Then asked, the size of his head? I'm sorry, but it's a small head and he has the face of a woman. It's always boys with these devils. They never sire girls, the midwife exclaimed. Most of the women in the birthing tent looked away, unable to face what this new mother must do. His head is not a warrior's head, nor his face. You must return him to the water now. Do not look at his face. Do not make that connection, pleaded the midwife. The midwife and her helpers wiped her clean, helped her to stand, get balance for the task. The midwife swaddled the small boy in the deer pelt and made sure to cover his face. With that, he started to cry, and it was a strong cry. As the midwife placed the baby in the mother's arms, gently preventing her hand from lifting the face cover. Holding the baby close to her chest, the new mother walked down to the water with her son. The moon was full and reflected on the dark lake. There was a soft, warm breeze. By now the baby had stopped crying. Had the doeskin become a shroud, she wondered, half hoping the child had passed. Could he have known he was not wanted? But no, no, he was wanted. She didn't want to remember those angry foreign faces and the violence in which he was conceived. There was still no sound from the baby. If he had passed, she needed to look upon his face so they could find each other in the next life. Pulling back the pelt, there he was, with features as delicate as a girl, the moonlight then baptized this vulnerable creature. He was half her people, but mostly looked like the others, the violent ones. In his face, she saw all the ancestors, all the past, and just knew she must choose flight. She put the little animal skin craft in the water, placed the child safely at the bottom of the boat, took the oar, and set out with her newborn son. Now that I'm journaling, I can understand that this vision showed that there was a time before, a time in the past where ancient tribes and animals roamed until they were no more.